So here we have a 4-pin RGB header and a 3-pin ARGB header. So, what would happen if, let's say, we plugged in one of the RGB products directly into one of the RGB headers? And what happens if we plug in the header itself to one of the RGB headers? Is there going to be an explosion? Let's find out. Alright internet, today we're going to be doing something kind of dumb. We will try to plug something into a hole which it was not meant to receive or we're going to plug something into something which shouldn't be plugged into. We are talking of course about the NZXT AER RGB2 ecosystem of products. So we sell a lot of NZXT products here at the shop and uh, AER2 has a whole line. So there are the usual fans, there's the underglow which you can stick underneath your case to have the light spill out underneath. There are the LED strips and there are the RGB cable combs. All of those products plug into a NZXT hub. It's easiest to get with the fan pack. NZXT sells these fan packs where you can get three or two fans and it already comes with the controller. So the heart of a typical NZXT setup is the control hub and here is the hub. It comes with four channels, one, two, three, four. It connects via USB here to the motherboard. So trace the wire there to an internal USB header on your motherboard. So you trace the wire back. Brings you back here to the control hub. Power is... Through Molex. So that's the power and you'll notice each channel leads to a different accessory so this channel it leads to the underglows this channel leads to the led strips and this third channel leads to the fans so the daisy so the fans are daisy chained to each other and then they finally connect to the hub here so actually we're we are not using one channel there's still one more channel so that's the basic nzxt setup and again to review it's plugged into an internal usb header this is the usb and it plugs in here to a usb header on the motherboard so where is this thing i promised like we're gonna try to plug in something where it shouldn't be plugged into the nzxt hub plugs into an internal usb header and that is not the standard or that's not the default thinking for rgb for rgb most products just ask you to plug it into the header on the mobile so your motherboard can have a 12 volt 4 pin rgb header or a 5 volt 3 pin argb header or if your motherboard is fancy, it can have both an ARGB header and an RGB header. But where I'm going is, usually for RGB, you plug them into one of those headers. You don't plug them into the internal USB, you plug them into the RGB header or the ARGB header. So we got to thinking and we were like, yes, you know, we followed the instructions of NZXT and we plugged everything where we were supposed to plug them. The controller is nicely plugged into the internal USB header. But if you take a look at the internal USB header, you know, it's kind of like this could go into a four pin header or even a three pin header if, you know, you want to force it. We were thinking like, is, could there be a situation where you're a customer Yes, you got this nice fancy RGB, but you're not really, you know, you didn't really look at the manual or you didn't let Hardware Sugar install it. And so you're rushing and you're like, RGB means RGB header on the mobile. So two scenarios. What would happen if we plugged in a NZXT product not into the hub, but into the RGB header of the motherboard? And number two, what if the hub, instead of plugging it into an internal USB header, 
we plugged it into the RGB header. So really, it's not too far-fetched because again, the default state is oh, RGB equals plug into RGB header. It's only NZXT and Corsair, some of the more premium brands which insist on, oh, you need a hub and that hub plugs into an internal USB header. If you're rushing, you didn't really read the manual and you take a look at the header, the USB header, easy enough to mistake it for, oh, this goes into the RGB header. Will the component fry? Will it work by some miracle? Will it destroy something else on the motherboard? You're gonna find out. Let's plug it in. Okay, you're nuts if you think we're gonna be plugging in these expensive NZXT things into a motherboard that might fry, that might fry the product. We're not that rich. The shop doesn't make enough money to cover YouTube videos like that. This is not Will It Blend. This is not Mythbusters. So, long story short, sorry to say, sorry to lead you on, sorry for the clickbait. We did not plug in the NZXT hub into the motherboard directly. We actually already know what happens when those two scenarios occur because it actually happened to our customers. And this is why I know it's not too far-fetched because we've had actual people who bought stuff from us come back to us and say, um, I think the product we bought from you is busted because it's not working. And after back and forth, after discussing with them, we discovered the problem was exactly that. They plugged in the NTXT product directly into the RGB header or they plugged in the hub into the RGB header. And so what happens? Fortunately, we don't need to damage our own products. The, our customers' products took one for the team. And this is what happens. Apparently, the product itself shorts out. So we had one guy who put in, who plugged in the underglow into the RGB header and the underglow was frozen in blue and not all of the LEDs were on and you can't find it in cam anymore. Cam won't identify it, cam can't see it as, you know, oh, I have an underglow in this system and I can control it. Another customer plugged in the hub. So he put all the fans, stuck them into one channel and then plugged the hub into the RGB header, same thing, it fried his fans. And the fans were all blue, and again, they could not be detected in CAM software. Interesting question, which I don't know the answer of is, is the hub still fine? Like if you remove the fans from that channel and then put in working NZXT products, will that hub still work? Is it only that channel that's broken? Or are all channels still okay? Is the hub itself still fine? That one, I don't know because the customer did not have any other NZXT products he could test that he could try them out, you know, plug them into the hub to see if they were working. So we did not need to do death and destruction to our own products. Our, the products of our customers and their feedback uh, is enough to show, to demonstrate that this is what happens. Please. Do not, if you have NZXT AER2 and probably even AER1, those things go into the internal USB, plug all of the products into the hub, and then the hub plugs into the internal USB header. If you don't have an internal USB header, you can buy these sort of add-ons. NZXT sells them, sells a version as well where you, know, you get additional USB headers. Don't try plugging them into your RGB header. There were no reports about damage to the motherboard itself, but the products themselves, the what you plugged into the RGB header, get fried. Um, most likely because an RGB header uses 12 volts, and I, I'm not sure if NZXT uses 5 volts, so it's an ARGB system. But most likely, 12 volts is too much juice for the products to handle, and it fries them out. And it, interestingly enough, it fries them out in the same way because they all turn blue. That is the death color for the NTXT products once you've fried them. So, uh, 
sorry not sorry for the clickbait i thought it was an interesting <laughs> interesting uh topic to talk about to be honest we haven't reached that point yet where i will willfully destroy products that we have in shop we're trying to save them to sell them to you guys but i thought it would be useful for people to know that to keep in mind when you buy nzxt or corsair that these are sort of proprietary systems that do not interface with the rgb header so you also can't use the usual MSI Mystic Lite or Gigabyte uh, Fusion or ASUS Aura Sync or any of the other motherboard RGB controlled softwares because these guys, Corsair has IQ, NZXT has CAM, they have their own proprietary software. So be safe, make sure that when you plug something into a hole, that hole is meant for that plug or thing or whatever it is you're plugging it into. Thanks for watching. So I hope that these basic tips helped you. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like and hit the subscribe button. For your PC needs, consider buying from us, Hardware Sugar, at Lazada, or on our website. You can find links in the description below. And thank you for watching. See you next video.